KNDY. Uh, good afternoon, high school basketball fans. Dusty Donis with you on KNDY as we are here and ready to go from the 1A Division II Boys State third place game between the South Central Timberwolves and the Axel Eagles here on KNDY. As Axel comes in the number two seed at 21 and 5, South Central the 5 seed at 18 and 8 coming into this game here today. Run a little bit behind as they're just getting into the starting lineup introductions. Axel again following last night to Lebo 68 to 52. Greeley County with a 64 41 loss to, uh, excuse me, South Central lost to Greeley County 64 41. So that sets up the third place matchup today between Axel and South Central. I'm going to take a time out, gather everything, get you ready for tip off after this break on KNDY. Have an accident with your vehicle? Call Moonlight Restoration and they'll take care of you with a free estimate and they'll turn it into the insurance company for you. You name it, they can do it. Fender benders, auto and tractor restoration, windshield repair or replacement, spray and bed liners, sandblasting, dealer and installer of B&W hitches and drop and lock hitches. No job is too large or too small for Moonlight Restoration. If you want quality work done by skilled technicians, call Moonlight Restoration in Axel, Kansas. Owned and operated by Brett and Nikki Runnebaum. Call 736-20. When you start a plumbing or electrical project, make sure that you have what you need to get the job done. If you don't have everything you need, Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber can help. Stocking a full line of electrical wiring, switches, boxes, and everything to the fixtures and even light bulbs. For that plumbing task, there's pipes, connectors and joints, faucets, toilets, and accessories. From an installation or remodel to a simple repair, get the plumbing and electrical supplies you need at one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. The State Bank in Axtell is synonymous with quality and integrity in the banking business. Financing for your home, for your farm, or your small business. Contact the loan officers if you need money. Or if you're putting money away for something special or just saving for a rainy day. Visit with the professionals at the State Bank of Axtell. They're federally insured. Member FDIC, the State Bank of Axtell. The ND Buildings of Axtell specializes in post-frame buildings. Give them a call for stud-framed buildings with complete concrete and electrical work included. It's one call to get the job done. B&D Building, specializing in post-frame building construction, plus repairs and more. Always free estimates. Give them a call. B&D Buildings of Axtell, 785-294-0147. B&D Buildings at 785-294-0147. And Dustin Donis back with you on KNDY from Great Bend, Barton Community College Boys, third place game between Axel and South Central. We'll tell you more about these teams as we roll through. I ran a little late on the sister station on Katie Country 94 with the girls' third place game that Buckland won 56 51 over St. John's Tipton. So we'll give you the starting lineups for South Central. Jamie Sarmiento, 5'7 sophomore. JT Prusa, 5'7 sophomore. Jack Kerr, a 5'10 freshman. Gavin Ull, 6' junior. And 6'5 junior Heath Howell for the Timberwolves of South Central, the number 5 seed at 18 and 8. Axel, the number 2 seed. 21 and 5. They start like this with Isaac Detweiler at point guard, the 5'11 senior. Also at guard is Colin Shaughnessy, 5'10 freshman. Grady Bushing, 6'2 junior forward. Eli Broxman, 6' sophomore guard. And Brandon Smellsley, a 6'2 sophomore guard forward for the Axel Eagles. South Central wins the tip into the backcourt as Gavin Ull has it at the right elbow. Looking near side wing, and he outshot his intended target. Bruza on the right side, a turnover for South Central earlier in this, early in this one. South Central is in their home white uniforms with the Forest Green or Hunter Green numbers and trim. Axel in their road blues for the first time in this tournament with the white numbers and the red and white trim. Drive by Detweiler shooting over the top of Howell that misses and a rebound pulled down by South Central. Behind the back of the dribble, Sarmiento on the far side gets it across half court. Into the corner now for the uh, Timberwolves. This is Hurd with it. Has it back over to Sarmiento. Pull up jump shot right side on the elbow. It misses. Rebound underneath. Ripped out of there by Hurd, but a travel called after the tie up with his own teammate, basically. And a turnover gives it back to uh, Axel. Eagles and Timberwolves playing for third place here at the 1A Division II State Tournament. Coming up later on Candy Live, the state championship between Hanover and Lebo Girl. Feet inside. Grady Bussing has it. Turnaround shot. Banking in over the 6 5. Keith Howell for Grady Bussing, his first bucket of the game. And Axel takes the early 2 to nothing lead. Eagles have the advantage just over a minute into the contest. On the far side, Wayne Cruza has it. Turns, backdoor cut, looking for Hurd on the baseline of the right block. He lays it up and in. 
Jack Hurd with his first basket of the game, and it's a 2 2 tie. Axel basketball. Brandon Smellsley has it on the right side wing. Picks up his dribble, skip pass back out top for Brocksterman. Swing at left side now. Shaughnessy into the corner for Detweiler. Oh, great. He's wide open on the baseline. Howell with a late recovery made contact with the body. And a couple free throws coming up here for Grady Bussing. First foul called on Howell and the first team foul on South Central. A minute and a half into this boys' third place contest, a 2 2 tie. As Bussing has the only two points so far for Axel. Looking to add to that total here. 53% free throw shooter on the season. But that first one is right down the middle, giving Axel a 3 2 lead. Chase Rutherford into the game for the first time for Heath Howell. Rutherford is a 5'6 freshman. Second free throw for Bussing on the way, and that one's good as well. So Grady has all four early for Axel as they lead 4-2. to two. South Central basketball. Jack Hurd has it across half court for the Timberwolves. Hurd holding back out top. Sarmiento with it. 6.23 to play. First quarter. Crossover dribble. Sarmiento at the right elbow. Almost traveled, but kept his pivot foot. Now a good backdoor cut by Prusa. All the way to the basket. Missed the shot. Rebound Rutherford. As he goes, goes baseline to Hurd, who missed the shot. And then on the rebound, a foul called on South Central. Second team foul on the Timberwolves. And a personal foul is called on Sarmiento. 6.06 to play first quarter. 4-2 to lead for Axel. Grady Bussing to throw it in from the far sideline in front of the Axel bench, or not the bench, the Axel fan and student section. Detweiler has it feeding Smellsley and going through the back of Smellsley, a foul on Gavin Ohl. So three early fouls on South Central. Timberwolves coached by Bud Valerius in his third year at 42-29, and 29, assisted by Paul Alvarez. Axel's coached by Jason Tynan in his eighth year, 90-94, and 94, assisted by James Shaughnessy. Right back into the game as Ohl checks out, Howell comes back in for the Timberwolves. Speed baseline, shot on the way for Brockstrom and nothing but net. Eli struggled a bit from the floor last night in the semifinal loss to Lebo, but he hits his first bucket tonight, this afternoon, making it 6-2 to Axel. Pressure put on by Smelsley, knocks it loose, pass up ahead. This is Rutherford with it, the bounce pass to Sarmiento. He can't control it, and it spins out of bounds on the near sideline. The third turnover of the game for South Central, and a timeout called by Coach Valerius and the Timberwolves. 5.44 to play first quarter, 6-2 to Axel. Back after the break on, Katie Country, on KNDY, excuse me. Here on uh, the 1A Division 2 State Tournament, third place game. If your vehicle is looking like it just went through a money rally race, or perhaps it's been target practice for the neighborhood bird gang, then you need to get your car washed today at the Axel Car Wash. The Axel Car Wash has two enclosed self-service bays, even one size for semi-tractors. Just pull in, pay with your bank card, and wash all the dirt, mud, bugs, and bird stuff off your vehicles. You don't have to drive far to get a clean car. Just visit the Axel Car Wash, proud supporter of the Axel Eagles. Axel leading 6-2 to two early over South Central with the basketball out of the timeout. Isaac Detweiler off the inbound, brings it across half court for the Eagles, dribbling right side wing. Detweiler thought about a three, pulls back on a skip pass, left corner, Brocksterman back to Shaughnessy, deep three from the left side, spins around and out. Rebound under the block for Gavin Uhl for South Central. The Timberwolves with the basketball, Sarmiento over to the right side, Uhl into the corner now. Bruce with a pull-up jump shot from the right side, that's smooth. J.T. Bruza knocking down the basket, and it's a 6-4 lead for Axel. Smellsley has in the far corner a double-team skip pass right side. Broxman near corner now to Shaughnessy. Back to Broxman. Sarmiento an overplay. Broxman skips it back into the corner. Smellsley wide open, high arcing three. Missed everything off the back side. Shaughnessy comes to get the rebound. Here is Detweiler with it now. Back over to Detweiler on a three from the right wing from uh, Broxman. It misses, but a rebound again, this time for Smellsley. Into the lane, Detweiler with a good head fake, left the shot short, and on the rebound, a foul on Bussing. Called on Grady, his first team foul number one on Axel in this first half. Substitution into the game, Landon Schmidt, the 5'8 freshman for the first time for the Eagles, coming in for Colin Shaughnessy. Axel, a young team, when you kind of look at who's playing out there right now, Detweiler the only senior starter. Evan Bussing really the only other senior that, that contributes here. And on the end, about a travel turnover here for South Central, their fourth of the game. So Axel has it back on. Actually, it wasn't a travel. They just threw the baseline inbound out of bounds. I was looking down, marking that inbound play. Smellsley just in front of the free throw line with the easy jumper. Brandon Smellsley with his first basket of the game for Axel, and it's now 8-4, to four, Eagles with the advantage. 
Here comes the, the Timberwolves, but a steal by Detweiler. Smelsley in the middle of the lane is swatted by Howell, but it goes right back to the Eagles. Five turnovers for South Central right from the same spot he made the last one. Smelsley missed the free throw line jumper. Bussing misses her tap rebound put back, and the rebound out of bounds. Last touch by... They're going to say it's off of uh, Axel back to South Central. The Timberwolves with the basketball. And the inbound play for Heath Howell on the baseline. It's going to go to the full court here. The inbound on the bounce pass to Jack Hurd. Back over to Howell. Howell hands it back to Sarmiento behind him. 4 one to play first quarter. 8-4, to four, Axel with the lead. Sarmiento avoids a 10-second count. Dribbling across half court on Smelsley. Hands it off in the corner to Hurd. Dribbling back out to the wing. Now out at the top of the key. Spins right elbow. Hurd picks up his dribble, head fakes on Smith, puts up a floater, and it rolls in. Jack Hurd with his second bucket of this first quarter. It's an 8-6 to six lead for Axel. Quick outlet pass, Smellsley to the rack. Count it in a blocking foul underneath on Gavin Ohl. The second foul on Ohl, 14 foul, and a chance at a three-point play for Brandon Smellsley, who has four early in this one. 10-6, to six, Axel with the lead. Smellsley has four, Bushing has four. Two points added by Eli Broxerman here in this first quarter. Checking back in is Jace Rutherford for uh, South Central as Ohl checks out with a second foul. 3.39 first quarter, Axel leading 10-6. Free throw for Smelsley on the way. It's off the back iron, missing. Hurd has the rebound for South Central. Takes one dribble and he gets back to the point guard, Sarmiento. Tim rules for the basketball. Behind the back dribble by Sarmiento out top. Axel on the wing and he dribbled it to the top. Howell with it now, right lane line, spinning off of Bussing, who falls down on the play, and an easy layup for Heath Howell. His first basket of the game, back to a two-point actual lead, 10-8. to eight. Third place contest, the 1A Division II State Tournament. Frankfurt girls won third place earlier today over Norwich, 49-23. Pass inside, Grady Bussing on the block, can't control it, and it's stolen away by South Central. Unofficially the first turnover of the game for Axel. Timberwolves basketball, right side, Sarmiento on the elbow, head fakes on Smelsley, got him in the air, kicks it left side, Cruz of fakes. Spins on Detweiler, shot on the way, rolling off the mark. Rebound baseline for Smith on the right block. Smith quickly up the floor, lobs into the near corner. Back out to Detweiler, right side, and he missed the three-pointer. Grady Bussing, rebound, put back left short. Rebound goes to Rutherford, actually pulling it out of there with Prusa. This time for South Central. Sarmiento across that court, hands it off to Prusa. Cruz over on the far side wing. Dribbles it back out to the top near the Cougar Paw at half, uh, just in the front court near half court. Rather for a good backdoor cut by Sarmiento. Ball was knocked out by Smelsley off the knee of Sarmiento out of bounds, and Axel gets the possession back. Six turnover the first quarter for South Central. Cruz is checking out in for the first time. Isaiah Jellison, a 5'11 junior for South Central. 2.20 to play first quarter as Axel has a 10 to 8 lead. South Central making just their second state tournament appearance. They made it in the 1A tournament in 2020, won their first-round game, but as you might remember, COVID canceled the rest of the state tournament that year. That was just at the onset of COVID here in the States. Over on the right side, this is Broxman with it, feeding inside to Grant Bussing, who's into the game, but he has a three-second violation before he can put up a shot attempt. So Grant Bussing came in for Grady Bussing. Grant, a 6'2 junior, averaging three points and two and a half assists, or two and a half rebounds, excuse me, per game. Inbound play to Jellison for South Central. Powell back to Jellison across half court, trying to skip pass. It's off the hand of Detweiler and then hit the shoulder of Jellison and rolls out of bounds back to Axel. Seven turnovers now for South Central in this first quarter. Eagles with the basketball. Inbound play to Detweiler. As it goes right side of the wing, got a Broxerman. Top of the key, Smellsley. Detweiler has it back. Pulls it back out on the wing, extended, 140 to play first quarter, a 10 to 8 lead. Pass out top, knocked out, it's loose, it's on the deck, saved up by her to steal for South Central. Sarmiento looking to make a move on Detweiler, fakes, got easy position, and he makes a little four-footer to tie the game up at 10 apiece. 124 to play first quarter. Axel basketball, near side wing. It's out of bounds, last touch by Jack Hurd, who was trying to get it back. It stays here with the Eagles. The inbound play for Grant Bussing on the near sideline. Looking in, and Jellison reads the pass, steals it away. All the way to the rack, layup high off the glass and in on a finger roll for Isaiah Jellison. And a timeout called by Axel and Coach Tynan. 12 to 10 South Central, 114 first quarter. Back after the break on Katie Country 90 or on KDY in Marysville. Excuse me. 
Little Joe 66 Service in Axtell is a proud supporter of Axtell Schools and Axtell Athletics. If you have automotive repair needs, call Joe at 785-736-2824. With satisfied customers from all over the area, Little Joe 66 Service is the place to turn for all of your automotive repair needs. Minute 14 to play in the first quarter. South Central leading 12 to 10. They've scored six in a row here. Off that steal and layup, Jason Tonning called the timeout for the Eagles. Axel basketball in the inbound play for Isaac Detweiler. 112 to play in the first. Detweiler leading this team, averaging 13 and a half points, seven rebounds, and five and a half assists to contest. Smellsley has it right lane line. Nice speed underneath on a backdoor cut by Grant Bussing for the easy layup. A 12-12 tie, putting an end to that mini 6-0 run for South Central. Left corner, this is Hurd with it. He takes a couple dribbles back to Jellison, extended on this left side wing. Dribbling over to the right side now, he hands it off to Hurd. Dribbles right elbow, driving to the left block, running layup, will not count. The foul is called on the floor on Axel. Second team foul on the Eagles. And the personal is called on Eli Brockstrom. 42.7 to play in this first quarter. 12-12 tie. Heard checking out. Back in. Cruza for South Central. Inbound of the baseline. Rutherford lobbing to Howitz over his head and stolen away by Detweiler on the far side. He nearly went all the way out of bounds on that far sideline. So he stays in. Eight turnovers unofficially here for South Central. Feed baseline. Schmitz has it. Whips it back out to Detweiler. Fakes on a three. Drives into the lane. Adjusts on Howell. Missed the shot. Jealous in the rebound in the middle of the lane for South Central. Detweiler looking to get going offensively. Has yet to score. He's 0 for 5 from the floor. Sarmiento setting up offense on the near side. Getting a call from Coach Valerius, and he's directing Jellison where to go. Sarmiento comes back out at top, extended with the volleyball spike line. Behind the back of the dribble, now between the legs. Picks it up. Blows by Smellsley in the middle of the lane. The running shot misses. Howell with the rebound and put back on in one motion. Then Rutherford trying to do the same and misses. And the rebound pulled down this time by Axel as the time runs out here in this first quarter. 12-12 tie between Axel and South Central in the first quarter of our boys' third-place game. Back of the second quarter on KNDY FM 95.5. For engineered roof and floor trusses, call on Axtell Truss. 12 to 80 foot span. Complete hip, cathedral, and floor systems using only the best SYP available. Deliver to your site undamaged on a roll-off trailer. Manufactured locally at Axtell Truss on U.S. Highway 36, two miles west of K110 between Seneca and Marysville. Phone 785-736-2291. Give your child a solid foundation in cheer, dance, or gymnastics. Get them over to Little Steps Dance and Gymnastics Studio in Seneca with summer enrollment open now for competition and recreational cheer and dance. Spots will fill up fast. Check them out on Facebook at Little Steps Dance and Gymnastics and start a new summer tradition today. One quarter in the books here on KNDY from Great Bend as the Axel Eagles are tied at the South Central Timberwolves in the third place game of the 1A Division II State Tournament at the Kirkman Center in Great Bend at Barton Community College. Axel and South Central get knotted at 12 apiece. It will be South Central, or actually Axel basketball, moving left to right to start this second quarter. Inbound play goes to Isaac Detweiler. Out top, the ball's tipped out by Rutherford, but taken back by Axel. Dentweiler with it. Eight first quarter turnovers for South Central. Five for Axel. Left side wing, Smellsley with it at the elbow. Drives in, kicks near corner, Shaughnessy. Step back three, right corner. Front rim at miss. Long rebound tracked down by Prusa for South Central. So the... Timberwolves with the basketball back in a 12-12 tie. Prusa with a crossover dribble looking for Rutherford. Sarmiento on a backdoor cut baseline reverse layup in. What a play there. Nice assist from Prusa. Sarmiento has four. And South Central regains a two-point lead, 14-12. Broxman trying to change that air ball to three. Sarmiento the rebound in the middle of the lane. Here come the Timberwolves. Sarmiento the head fake. And a dribble back out to Jellison. Fakes a deep three. Taking a couple dribbles. Back out to the top. Between the legs of the dribble. As he hands it off, does Jellison to Howell. Howell back to Sarmiento. And what do we have? A foul called on the inside on Axel. Pushing through. 
It's called on Eli Brockstrom in his second. Team foul number three on the Eagles. Jack Hurd back into the game for South Central and for Isaiah Jellison. 6.50 to play first half, 14 to 12. South Central lead. Schmidt's coming back into the game for Brockstrom and for Axel picking up his second foul again. As the Timberwolves have the basketball. Out top, Prusa with it. At the left elbow, he hands it off to Howe. Curling away from Shaughnessy into the middle of the lane for the easy two. Using his length to score that one. And South Central leads by four, 16 to 12. Smellsley had the ball knocked down from behind. Schmitz has it, though, to Detweiler. Left lane line. Detweiler skips it back. It's tipped. Smellsley has it. Head fake. Skip pass back to Detweiler. Left side. Feeding baseline. Bussing backing in. Howe swats the shot. Bussing has it back, though. Takes it into the corner. Good cut to the basket by Smith. He's fouled hard by Rutherford. And a couple free throws coming up for the freshman, Landon Schmidt. First foul called on Jace Rutherford. 15th foul on South Central. Schmidt to the charity stripe for Axel. This season shooting about 41% from the line. His first attempts of this game. Schmidt had eight last night in the loss to Lebo. First free throw missing. Isaac Detweiler with 13 points in both of these first two state games. Smellsley had 12 last night. He had 11 in the opener against Buckland that uh, Axel won 59-44 on Thursday to get to the semis. Second free throw in for Schmitz. Cuts the lead down to one possession at 16-13. to South Central basketball off the inbound. Sarmiento with it. Pressured in the corner. And then it cuts Sarmiento after a tip by Smellsley. It went off of his foot, they say, and it goes back to Axel. Turnover for South Central is their ninth of the ball game. Inbound play coming for... Isaac Detweiler. Detweiler looking for the lob. It goes into the backcourt, and Schmitz was already coming back to the lane and then, or to the wing, I should say. Sarmiento got it and then slid away and lost his pivot foot in the front court. So a turnover for each team. Ball goes back to the Eagles. On the turnover. Pass right side, Rutherford into the back of Smellsley makes contact, gets called for his second foul. 16 foul on South Central in this first half. 6-0-1 to play until halftime, 16-13, to Timberwolves with the lead. Inbound play coming for Grady Bussing on the near side as Jellison's back into the game for Rutherford picking up his second foul. Gavin Hull has two fouls as well and has not seen any action here in the second quarter yet because of that. De- Detweiler over to the far side, heard almost overplayed in foul, but Shaughnessy has it back to Detweiler. 5.50 to play, first half, Detweiler to Smellsley, takes it left lane line, feeding underneath the Bussing, shooting over Howe, missing, on the rebound, a tie-up, alternating arrow, will give it back to South Central. Timberwolves for the basketball, and a three-point lead, 5.46 in the first half, and Howe the inbound. South Central led this season by Gavin Orle, averaging 12.5 points and six rebounds a game, Sarmiento just under 12.5 points, four rebounds, two and a half assists, and three and a half steals a game. Sarmiento has it off the inbound, under just under 10 points for Heath Howe with six and a half rebounds, and Four block shots again. Pull up jump shot for Jellison on the right lane line. Misses for South Central. Rebound Detweiler as he pushes the floor for Axel. Into the middle of the lane. Got Howell in the air, but he still tipped the shot by Detweiler. Rebound Sarmiento trying to save it, but he's out of bounds. And the possession will go here to Axel. Eagle basketball in the inbound play on the baseline. Isaac Detweiler to throw it in. Detweiler on the baseline. Looks into the far side wing. Shaughnessy with it. Smellsley with it now. Drives in. Kicks inside. Bussing. Nice speed to Smellsley. The wide open layup in. And Brandon has six. The assist from uh, Bussing. And it's 16-15. South Central's lead down to one. 5.09 to play first half. Crossover dribble. Sarmiento. Over the right wing. Jellison. Five minutes in the first half. Jellison crossover dribble on Detweiler. Hands it back out to Sarmiento. Spinning off of Smellsley. Floater on the way and good. That's just a smooth-looking play and hard to stop for any defender. Sarmiento has six. It's 18-15. to 15. Axel basketball inside. Trying to take the charge. No call as they called a... It said Prusa had a flop. And then on the baseline, an easy layup for Axel. 4.35 to play first half. They reach the ball out of the reach of the intended target. Prusa from Sarmiento on the far side and a turnover for South Central. There's a timeout on the floor. 18-17 lead for South Central. We'll take the timeout as well. 4.33 to play first half. Back after the break on Candy Line. 
Count on Cook Excavating for all types of dirt work, soil conservation needs, tree clearing, basements, and more. The number to dial is 736-2889. 736-2889 for Cook Excavating. Reliable quality service at reasonable rates. No job is too big or too small for Cook Excavating, so call today for all types of dirt work, soil conservation needs, tree clearing, basements, and more. 736-2889 for Cook Excavating. Four and a half to play, 433 to be exact in the first half. It was Landon Schmitz that made the last bucket for Axel. It's 18 to 17 in favor of the Timberwolves, but the Eagles have the basketball out of the timeout. That stoppage was from South Central. They have three timeouts remaining. Axel with four. Schmitz has it. Head fakes. Gets it back over. Air mails pass. Detweiler able to track it down before he goes out of bounds. Shaughnessy back to Detweiler on the left wing. No look. Bounce there. The, it wasn't a no look. It was a backdoor cut there by Smellsley. Bounce pass was kicked out of bounds off the foot of either Jellison or Howell. I didn't exactly see who touched it last. Axel with the basketball. Inbound play, baseline, Detweiler. Lobs over the far side. It's tipped out of the hands of Smith and a steal for Sarmiento. All the way to the rack scoop layup in. Sarmiento with six in the quarter, eight in the game. It's back to a three-point South Central lead, 20-17. to 17. Axel basketball. Smith has it. Right side. Whips the one-handed left-hand pass to Detweiler. Kind of a lazy bounce pass to Smellsley. Back to Detweiler in the lane. Hit shot blocked again by Howell. Rebound to South Central. Sarmiento across the timeline. Dribbles at the left elbow. Pulls up, kicks it right side. Pruz on the wing. Pruz spins off the defense. Puts up a floater from the right side. It misses. Rebound underneath goes to Bussing at the left block. Axel basketball and Sarmiento trying to get a steal. Tips it out of bounds on the far sideline. Substitution coming into the game for Axel with Eli Broxerman. Back in for Landon Schmidt. See, uh, we have... 11 turnovers for South Central, 6 for Axel. Detweiler has the elbow back to Shaughnessy. Wide open 3 from the right wing. College 3-point range misses. Rebound underneath goes to Grady Blissing, though. Blissing trying to split through a couple defenders. Goes up, blocked by Howell, and a tie-up called. Possession stays with Axel. The Eagles have the basketball, trailing by 3 with 3.17 to play until halftime. Grady Blissing was going to the other end for some reason, it's that confused uh, Jack Hurd, who also followed him down there. Inbound play for Detweiler. Isaac to throw it in. Back over to Shaughnessy. Shaughnessy back to the left side now. Smells lead right side wing. Plus, excuse me, uh, Broxerman. Detweiler skip pass Shaughnessy back to Smellsley left corner. Skip pass right side Broxerman. Baseline to Detweiler. Isaac fakes. Kicks it back into the corner on a baseline drift pass. Smellsley for three, missing. Rebound pulled down there by Keith Howell. South Central with the basketball. J.T. Prusa dribbling out top. 2.40 to play first half. Three points South Central lead. One of Division II boys third place contest here on KNDY. Hanover girls will play Lebo for the state championship coming up here later. South Central with the basketball. Sarmiento behind the back of the dribble out top. Sarmiento crosses over at the elbow, spins, kicks back out to Fruza. Head fake on Broxman, drives into the lane, running layup, missed. Howell there for the rebound and put back in one motion for South Central. He has six, but with his five for South Central, 22 to 17. And we have a blocking foul out top on Sarmiento, his second. 17 foul, so one on one opportunity. Sarmiento in a little bit of pain going to the floor as he took a hard hit. Might have been some knee to knee contact there. And free throw is coming up on a one-on-one opportunity for Isaac Detweiler for Axel. Detweiler on the season is shooting 74% from the line. His first attempts of this game. He's looking to get his first points of the game as well. 0 for 6 from the floor early here for or 7, actually, is what I've got for Detweiler. 2-13 in the first half. Five-point South Central lead, 22-17. to Detweiler's free throw bounces off the mark. Rebound ripped out of there by Rutherford for South Central. Sarmiento did check out of the game as Jellison comes back in. For South Central. Timberwolves with a five-point lead. Jellison left side wing. Twin legs with the dribble. Hesitation move. He's carrying the ball and not getting called for it, to be honest with you. The floater on the way for Jellison from the right lane line is in. It's a seven-point lead for South Central. 24-17 the score. Axel with the basketball. Smellsley has it. 
Over to the left side is Shaughnessy. 140 to play in the first half. Seven point Timberwolves lead. Timberwolves with the advantage. Shaughnessy has it left wing. Flashing high post. That's Grant Blissing. Back over to Schmelzley. And a foul on the play on Rutherford, I believe. That'll be number three on Rutherford. One on one coming up here for Brandon Schmelzley. Team foul number eight. Rutherford checking out of the game as Gavin Uhl checks back in. 130 to play, first half, 24 17 the score. Snuffley at the free throw line for Axel. He has six in the first half. His first free throw is too strong. Rebound tapped out. How tracks it down himself using that link to create a rebound for himself. 123 in the first half, 24 17. Timberwolves with the lead. Isaiah Jellison over to the left side on the dribble drive baseline is Jack Hurd and a blocking for a hand check out front called on Axel. This one's on Colin Shaughnessy, his first. Just the fourth team foul on the Eagles here in this first half. South Central with the basketball and the inbound play for Gavin Uhl. Uhl looking in near corner. Jack Hurd with it. Backing out of the defense. Spins the left lane line. Bank shot counts and a foul on Shaughnessy. A chance at a three-point play for Jack Hurd. Six points for Hurd. It's a nine-point South Central lead, 26-17. And they have a chance to make it a 10-point lead. It's an 8-0 run right now for South Central. As Axel comes back in with Schmitz for Shaughnessy, who picked up his second foul. 15 foul on the Eagles. 108 to play in the first half. Free throw for Hurd on the way, and it rolls in. Seven points now for Jack Hurd. A 10-point South Central lead on a 9-0 run. Across the timeline. That while they're looking into the corner, it was not tipped by South Central as it spins out of bounds, and the ball goes back to the Timberwolves. Another Axel turnover there, seventh of the first half. Inbound play for South Central. Jellison had the ball put down because nobody went in to inbound it, but he gets it up, and before there's a, any chance to find a second count, gets it in for J.T. Prusa. Far side, this is Ool on the wing. Again, it averages eight points a game, or 12 and a half points a game, I should say, but hasn't scored yet in this one, dealing with some foul trouble in the first half. Samiento's back on the bench for South Central, by the way. Over on the left wing. Howell has it. Back over to Jellison. Moving screen was not called on Howell there. Pass over to the right side wing. Extended with 30 seconds to play first half near half court. This is Prusa with it. Prusa picks up his dribble. Back out to Jellison with 22 seconds left. Back over to Prusa. 10 points South Central lead. As they lead it over to the Axel Eagles with 14 seconds to play first half. Crossover dribble. Bruza guarded by Smelsley. Eight seconds. Bruza makes his move on the right lane line all the way to the rack. Missed the layup. Rebound underneath for Uhl. Put back in. Right before the end of the first half as South Central has a 12-point lead over Axel in our third-place game. South Central goes on an 11-0 run at the end of the first half to take a 29-17 lead at halftime over Axel. We're back with our halftime show after the break on Candy Watch. Western National Bank in Summerfield wants you to feel good about where you are with your money. Available when you need them and offering online and personal services, Western National Bank will make sure to keep you and your money happy. Call Western National Bank at 244-6211 to make your money smile. Member FDIC. As a farmer, you know you can never have too many tools. And when it comes to risk management, there's one vitally important tool, crop insurance. Your rain and hail independent agent can help you use crop insurance as a risk management tool to protect your business. To learn about the insurance tools available, call your local SPS insurance agent. You'll get crop insurance service from an agent that will help you protect what matters most. This agency is an equal opportunity provider and employer. For all of your heating, air conditioning, plumbing, electrical, and excavation services, there's only one call to make. Eagle HVAC and Heating. Formerly Dave's Hardware in Axtell, the guys at Eagle HVAC and Heating look forward to continuing the success Dave built over the years. Offering all heating, ventilation, air conditioning needs, as well as carrying a wide variety of name brand appliances, they do plumbing and electrical, as well as excavation service. Give Eagle HVAC and Heating a call today in Axtell. 
Olmsted Real Estate and Auctions, your farm and home marketing team since 1976. Let the family team of Tim, Tom, and Rob Olmsted and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you in your real estate experience of selling or buying a home or farmland. Olmsted Real Estate and Auctions is experienced in providing timely, professional, and honest service. Find them on the web at olmstedrealestate.com or call today at 785-353-2210. KNDY is proud to be your local sports leader. For over 40 years, KNDY has been bringing you the scores, interviews, and live play-by-play action of your favorite teams all season long, year after year not just playoff time. Times and technology change, but our dedication to area sports remain the same. KNDY Sports, on air, online, and on our mobile app. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. Flash into spring 2023 with savings on your Blue Valley Internet bill. If you increase your speed this spring, you get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. New Blue Valley Internet customers also get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. Visit bluevalley.net slash 2023. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Due to an influx in orders, Landall Company in Marysville is hiring for full-time assemblers, welders, fabrication, material handlers, and painters. You'll receive an additional 4% weekly bonus for production employees who work their weekly required hours. Landall is working overtime and offers competitive wages and a full line of benefits, including a $2 per hour shift differential for second and third shifts, all-inclusive insurance plan, paid time off and paid holidays, profit sharing, and a fuel allowance to drive to work. Apply online or learn more at Landall.com. Landall Company, EEO Vets and Disability, welcome. Welcome back here on our halftime show on Candy Y. The Axel Eagles trailing uh, the South Central Timberwolves by a score of 29 17 at halftime. Again, at the end of the first half, a 11 0 run for uh, South Central as they led at 1 point 18 to 17 and then scored the last 11 to take a 29 17 lead at the break. Leading the way for South Central in the first half was uh, Jaime Sarmiento with 8 points, 7 points for Jack Hurd, 4 points added by Isaiah Jellison, and 2 points each for JT Perza and Gavin Uhl for. Uh, South Central again, six for Heath Howell. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. So, again, eight for Sarmiento, seven for Hurd, six for Howell, four for Jellison, two each for Prusa and Uhl. For Axel, they were led in the first half by uh, Grady, or excuse me, actually, uh, Brennan Smelsley was six. Grady Blissing had four. Two points each for Eli Brocksterman and uh, Grant Blissing in the first half and a three-point performance in the first half for Landon Smith. He had a free throw and a layup for Axel. Once again, the halftime score is South Central 29, Axel 17. Third place game of the 1A Division II State Tournament here in 1A uh, action at uh, Great Bend, Barton Community College. Glad to have you with us here on KNDY and we'll take another break. More of our halftime show coming your way. With text order options, competitive daily pricing, and no wrap requirements, Kramer Oil has everything to make your next propane or fuel order a breeze. This is Chad Kramer. Our goal at Kramer Oil is to deliver dependable, reliable products to your home or business. At the best value and with the best customer service around, visit us online at KramerOil.com and see how we can serve you. The Kramer family, proudly serving your family since 1976. Highland Community College congratulates the area high school student-athletes for their hard work and continued dedication in making it into the postseason playoffs. Want to earn college credit at an affordable rate, close to home or online? HCC Summer and Fall Enrollment opens March 27th. Complete the free application for admission at highlandcc.edu slash apply. Need more information? Phone 785-442-6020. Highland Community College, close to home, far from debt. 
Have an accident with your vehicle? Call Moonlight Restoration and they'll take care of you with a free estimate and they'll turn it into the insurance company for you. You name it, they can do it. Fender Benders, Auto and Tractor Restoration, Windshield Repair or Replacement, Spray and Bed Liners, Sandblasting, Dealer and Installer of BMW Hitches and Drop and Lock Hitches. No job is too large or too small for Moonlight Restoration. If you want quality work done by skilled technicians, call Moonlight Restoration in Axtell, Kansas. Owned and operated by Brad and Nikki Runnebaum. Call 736 20 Equipment rentals from Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber make the job easier if you're a professional or do-it-yourselfer. From power tools to generators, air compressors to nailers and fasteners, concrete tools, scaffolding, and more, rent a bobcat, dump truck, man lift, ladder, scaffolding, as well as pressure washers, insulation blowers, drywall tools, tile cutters, and more. Rent by the half day, day, weekend, or week. See the entire list online, including pricing, at axtolumber.com or visit either location today. The State Bank in Axtell is synonymous with quality and integrity in the banking business. Financing for your home, for your farm, or your small business. Contact the loan officers if you need money. Or if you're putting money away for something special. Or just saving for a rainy day. Visit with the professionals at the State Bank of Axtell. They're federally insured. Member FDIC, the State Bank of Axtell. D&D Buildings of Axtell specializes in post-frame buildings. Give them a call for stud-framed buildings with complete concrete and electrical work included. It's one call to get the job done. D&D Buildings specializing in post-frame building construction, plus repairs and more. Always free estimates. Give them a call. D&D Buildings of Axtell, 785-294-0147. B&D Buildings at 785-294-0147. Dusty Donis back with you from Great Bend on KNDY. Earlier today, the Frankfurt girls winning third place out at 1A Division One in Don City. A final of 49-23 over Norwich. Frankfurt finished their year at 22-4. and In the championship later this evening, Donovan West from the Twin Valley League will play actually this afternoon at 4 o'clock against Quinter in 1A Division One, And then in the championship class, 3A boys coming up later tonight in Hutchinson, the Marysville Bulldogs taking on the Heston Swathers. 23-2 Marysville, 24-1 Heston at 6-15 tonight on KNDY AM, I believe, and maybe FM as well. I know that we have it for you on KNDY uh, here for the Marysville boys in the state championship class 3A. Once again at halftime, the Axel boys uh, trailing South Central 29-17 here in Great Bend. One a division two third place game. One more quick timeout back in the second half after the break on KNDY. If your vehicle is looking like it just went through a money rally race, or perhaps it's been target practice for the neighborhood bird gang, then you need to get your car washed today at the Axtell Car Wash. The Axtell Car Wash has two enclosed self-service bays, even one size for semi-tractors. Just pull in, pay with your bank card, and wash all the dirt, mud, bugs, and bird stuff off your vehicles. You don't have to drive far to get a clean car. Just visit the Axtell Car Wash, proud supporter of the Axtell Eagles. 29-17, 29-17, South Central leading Axles. We get set to start the second half here on KNDY from Great Bend. LT and Sheila Flesky Court at the Kirkman Activity Center here in Great Bend at Barton Community College. Thanks to Todd Moore, the host here, uh, Trevor Rolf. No, Brandon Smith's doing a great job of keeping the stats down there low as well. Big thanks to everybody that helps out here from SID with Barton Community College to help make this a fun and easy state tournament. South Central to basketball moving left to right to start this second half as the Timberwolves start the same way they started the game. The inside look to Howell. Baseline misses the shot. Ooh, the rebound blocked by Bussing and a tie-up called. It'll go back to Axel. Jaime Sarmiento, JT Pruza, Jack Hurd, Gavin Ool, and Heath Howell, the starters for South Central. For Axel, looks like they start the same way they started the game as well. Isaac Detweiler, Grady Bussing, Eli Broxterman as well as Brandon Smellsley and Colin Shaughnessy. Here is Detweiler on the left wing. He was held scoreless in the first half. Dribble drive in. Look, good, good look baseline, but the ball knocked loose by Sarmiento. Smellsley comes away with it, though. From the left block, it just extended out of there, missed the jumper, and a rebound pulled down by Hurd for South Central. And the winner of this game finishes third. The loser will be fourth. Have a chance to end your season on a win with this third-place game. As I was saying during the girls' game on Katie Country 94 that I had, it's, it's one of those games where there's a lot of debate on the merits of it. But 
a great teaching tool, I feel like, for high school kids at this age to, to come back, see what you do, fighting adversity of, of the fact that you didn't make it to the championship game. Sarmiento has it on the right side wing for South Central. Looking back out top and cutting toward the basket was, ooh, it's into the backcourt, no tip, and a turnover for South Central. Is their 12th of the game unofficially as it goes back to the Axel Eagle. Sarmiento getting some words from Coach Bud Valerius on the near sideline. The inbound play coming for Grady Bussing into the backcourt for Isaac Detweiler. 6.46 to play, third quarter, 29-17 the score. Schmelzley has it on the right wing. Hands it off now to Broxerman. Left side, Grady Bussing. He's open, but he's not a threat to shoot the three ball. Schmelzley has it on the baseline now. Pulls it out from the block to the wing. Top of the key to Broxerman. Takes right elbow. Jump stop, bounce pass over the wing for Shaughnessy. Back into the corner now for Broxterman. Detweiler with it with 6.23 to play. Nice speed underneath. Play up, miss, but a foul as Grady Bussing will go to the free throw line for two attempts for Axel. South Central foul was called on Keith Howell, his second. Team foul number one on South Central in the second half. Big thanks to all the sponsors for bringing Axel Bulldog, or Axel, Axel Eagle basketball here on KNDY. I had Marysville on my mind, and the Bulldogs went to my brain. I, listen, called a lot of games here at the state tournament. I apologize for any mis- mistakes I might make. Grady Bussing missed the first free throw. He's got another one coming up. He's now coming back into the game for South Central, out of the game for South Central, and back in is uh, Jace Rutherford. Second free throw rattling in for Bussing. That puts an end to what was an 11-0, uh, 11-0 run here there at the end of the first half for South Central. 29-18 the score. Sarmiento the other way pulls up right lane line, and Knocks down the jumper for South Central. Sarmiento, the first player for either team in a double figures, has 10, and it's back to a 13-point lead, 31-18. Baseline driving. The ball's knocked loose, and then it goes off the foot of Sarmiento out of bounds. Sarmiento didn't agree with the call as he took a little hop step into the lane, thinking it went off the foot of, I believe, Bussing or Shaughnessy. Either way, Axel keeps the possession. 6 4 to play third quarter, 31-18 the score. Inbound, Grady Bussing on the inside. Shoots over Howell, missed the shot. Rebound tipped around. Actually, that was not Howell. It's Uhl in the middle of the lane there as Bussing couldn't get it to go, and Uhl takes the rebound out. Sarmiento takes the handoff. Behind the back with the dribble on the baseline. Thought about a step back, trying to go out to the wing. Knocked loose by Broxman. It goes out of bounds. There's some fans over there in that front row guarding themselves not to take a full body from Eli Broxman there. A younger girl over there. Definitely worried about it. Behind the back dribble here. Prusa with a nice move. Spins on Detweiler. Gets it back out to Uhl for three. And he buries it from the left wing. Gavin Uhl has five. Axel trails by 16 now. 34 to 18. Coming back the other way. A steal for Sarmiento. Axel's low point total this year was 40 against Wabunzi. And they're struggling to score in this game. 34 to 18, the score with 5.16 to play in the third quarter. On, on the near side wing, JT Prusa has it into the corner for Jack Hurd. He spins off the defensive Shaughnessy and a foul call from behind on Collins. The third on Shaughnessy, team foul number one on Axel in the second half. 5.09 in the third quarter, a 34 to 18 lead for South Central. And a timeout called here by Coach Connor and Axel. 5.09 to play in the third, 34 18, Timberwolves back after the break on Candy Line. Little Joe's 66 Service in Axtell is a proud supporter of Axtell Schools and Axtell Athletics. If you have automotive repair needs, call Joe at 785-736-2824. With satisfied customers from all over the area, Little Joe's 66 Service is the place to turn for all of your automotive repair needs. For engineered roof and floor trusses, call on Axtell Truss. 12 to 80 foot span. Complete hip, cathedral, and floor systems using only the best SYP available. Deliver to your site undamaged on a roll-off trailer. Manufactured locally at Axtell Truss on US Highway 36, two miles west of K110 between Seneca and Marysville. Phone 785-736-2291. And Dusty Donis back with you on KNDY as Jump Around plays on the speakers here at Barton Community College. 34-18, to 18, South Central the lead. And to the free throw line is Jack Hurd, a freshman for the Timberwolves. South Central, that 16-point advantage as Jason Tynan had called the timeout. He has three left, two fulls and a 30. Also the same situation for South Central, two fulls and a 30. Jack Hurd has eight points now as he knocks down the free throw. 35-18 to 18 the score. 
Second one on the way for Jack. It rolls off to the left and missing. Brennan smells with the rebound at the left block for Axel. Should be a 17-point lead for Axel, or excuse me, for South Central. Went and puts a free throw up on the board, I don't believe. That while into the corner, Broxman fires three and hits it from the left corner. Maybe that energy boost that Axel's looking for. Five points now for Broxman, and it's 34, or 35-21. On the right side, this is Jellison stripped away by Detweiler. He has a steal into the back court, or the front court. Detweiler counts the bucket and a foul on Jellison. Contact really initiated by Detweiler, who has his first basket of the game, and that cuts the lead down to 35-23. to 23. In favor of South Central, Jellison called for his first personal foul. Team foul number two on South Central in the second half. And Detweiler with a chance at the three-point play. 438, third quarter, 11-point lead. 12-point lead, I believe, actually, for South Central now an 11-point lead as Detweiler knocks down the free throw. Three points for Detweiler is 35-24. I believe still that they did miss a free throw. Here is Jellison with it. Back to Howe. As they get it across that court to the right side, Jellison into the corner for Hurd. Hurd back out to the right wing, Sarmiento. Back over to the far side to Uhl. Driving into the lane, Uhl missed the runner. Rebound in the middle of the lane, goes to Detweiler. Axel pushing, driving, Detweiler, left-handed layup, rolling in. Isaac Detweiler scores, and he has five. It's down to a, what I think is a nine-point lead. The scoreboard says 34-26. In the corner, a timeout called here by South Central. It's either an eight or nine point lead with four minutes to play third quarter. We're back after the timeout here on KND Line. Give your child a solid foundation in cheer, dance, or gymnastics. Get them over to Little Steps Dance and Gymnastics Studio in Seneca with summer enrollment open now for competition and recreational cheer and dance. Spots will fill up fast. Check them out on Facebook at Little Steps Dance and Gymnastics and start a new summer tradition today. Count on Cook Excavating for all types of dirt work, soil conservation needs, tree clearing, basements, and more. The number to dial is 736-2889. 736-2889 for Cook Excavating. Reliable quality service at reasonable rates. No job is too big or too small for Cook Excavating, so call today for all types of dirt work, soil conservation needs, tree clearing, basements, and more. 736-2889 for Cook Excavating. Scoreboard says 34-26. I have 35-26 in favor of South Central with just under four minutes now in the third quarter as South Central has the basketball. Double team on the near side. Offensive foul. Her lowers the shoulder into Grady Bushing and gets called for the charge. First foul on her. The third team foul on South Central. The fourth turnover this quarter and the 15th of the game. The inbound play to Isaac Dentweiler. Single-digit lead here for South Central. Detweiler dribbling out top and guarded by Fruza. Detweiler dribbles right side. Hesitates on Hurd. Picks up his dribble out top for Broxterman. Lost it for a second but has it back. Over to the right side wing. Detweiler fakes. Hands it off now. Smellsley with it. Back out top to Broxterman. He fires a deep three from the left side. It bounces off the mark. Three down tips around and a foul from behind, I believe, on South Central. Timberwolves foul is number four here in this second half. And the foul is called on Jack Hurd, his second inbound play. Pull up free throw line jumper. Smellsley off the front rim, missing. Detweiler taps the rebound, attracts it down on the near side. Axel basketball, 317 to play, third quarter. On the back of the dribble, Detweiler has it. Over to the far side for Smellsley. Smellsley driving or turning. Baseline shot on the way, missing for Grady Bussing, and the rebound out of bounds off of Axel. The Eagles within either nine or eight here. We'll double check and make sure we got everything right once we take a break. A foul called on Axel on that far sideline. There's an Axel fan up off the seat sitting front row that didn't like the call. The inbound play coming for Howell for South Central. Broxerman called for his third personal foul. Second team foul on the Eagles here in this second half. Three minutes to play, third quarter. Across the timeline, Sarmiento on the near side gets it over to Howell. 
Passes into the near corner. Hurd fires the three. It's bouncing off the mark. Good box out and rebound by Grady Blissing on the right block. Here come the Eagles the other way. Brocksterman. Blissing. Schmitz into the corner for Smelsley. Back to Brocksterman. And on his gather, he travels. Eight turnovers now for Axel. 238 to play third quarter. 34-35-26. I'll confirm at the end of the third when I get the stat. The inbound play goes to Cruz. If I was at home close to a score table, I would have been able to check during the break, but I'm all the way up here in the flash box. Scores table is on the baseline, or down on the floor, I should say. And there was a bobble on the baseline by Sarmiento that he lost, but it was out of bounds on Smelsley for Axel. South Central keeps the possession. T29 in the third quarter. The inbound play baseline coming for South Central and Gavin Uhl. Over to the near side, a head fake, dribble drive into the lane, floating runner, counts and a foul on Axel. J.T. Pruzo with his first basket of the game. And they have 36-26 on the board. As the free throw goes up and in for Pruza. he has five. 38 or 37-26, quick outlet and speed up ahead to Schmitz for the wide open layup though. on the board. Ball kicked by Smelsley. 2-10 in the third quarter. As the inbound play coming on the near sideline. I know where the issue is. They have seven for Hurd, but I'm pretty sure he went one for two on a free throw trip. Unless for some reason they waved it off and I didn't see it. Dribble drive baseline behind the back of the dribble. Sarmiento has it. Holding there at the left wing. Into the corner now. This is Gavin Uhl. Bounce pass inside Howell. Right back to Uhl on the give and go with a scoop left-handed layup. Seven now for Gavin Uhl. And the lead is back up to 11 or 12. Right elbow to Smellsley with it. Nice no-look pass and a backdoor cut by Grady Bussing. Axel back on the board. 39-30 or 40-30 to over on the left side wing. This is... Heard with it. Dribbling out top. JT Prusa. Started by Dettweiler. 121 to play third quarter. Beating at the elbow. This is Prusa. Back over on the left wing. How driving. Lowering his shoulder. Heard. What do we have? A foul called on a reach on Axel. The third team foul on the Eagles. 39-30 is what I'll say. That's what they have on the board. Blissing checking out. Grady Blissing, Grant Blissing back in. Inbound play near side. He'll head fake by Perusa. He double dribbled. They didn't call it, but it's stolen away either way by Blissing. Is that a ball don't last situation? Quick outlet pass. Smellsley somehow saves it in for Smith. Would have been goaltending, but Smith laid it up and in anyway. 39-32 the score in favor of South Central. 48 seconds to play, third quarter. Pass over to the far side wing. Sarmiento has it. Dribbles it across half court. Over to the left side. The ball tipped out and off of Ooh, It goes out of bounds on the far sideline. South Central turnover. 39-32 the score. As the uh, Eagles have the basketball. That while they're across half court, out top. Guarded out there by Cruza. JT pressured. They're putting on pressure on Detweiler. 26 seconds to play third quarter. 39-32. Detweiler fakes on a deep three with 22 seconds remaining. Grant Bussing on the inside. And a foul called on South Central on the floor. 15 foul called on the Timberwolves. Personal on Jack Hurd, his third. Thirty-nine, thirty-two. the score. South Central winning over Axel. And substitution is heard, checks out. Jellison back in for the Timberwolves. Eagle basketball, baseline, Detweiler to throw it in. Left wing, Broxterman, back to Detweiler. In the corner, feeding inside, Smellsley, head fakes. Howell blocked the shot, rebound tapped out, and taken by Sarmiento off the tip by Uhl. Timberwolves basketball, seven seconds to play, third quarter. Cruz out top, four seconds to play. Crossover dribble on Smellsley. He lost it. It's out. No, he saved it in. Three on the way for Jellison at the buzzer and just off the mark. 
What a play by Prusa to keep the ball alive, but in the end, the bucket misses, and we're at the end of three quarters. 39-32, South Central leading it over Axel. We're back after the timeout here on KNDY. Western National Bank in Summerfield wants you to feel good about where you are with your money. Available when you need them and offering online and personal services, Western National Bank will make sure to keep you and your money happy. Call Western National Bank at 244-6211 to make your money smile. Member FDIC. Don't we all wish it was sunny and 70 degrees outside? Good news, this is the Midwest, and while it probably won't be tomorrow, those days aren't far off, and neither is planting season. Reviewing machinery insurance values before it comes out of the shed is easier than during claim time. We work with several different companies to offer options tailored to your individual operation. Give us a call, and one of our many knowledgeable farm agents would be happy to come out and help. SBS Insurance, the home team. The answer is yes. Welcome back here on KNDY. After three quarters, it is 39-32, to 32, South Central leading Axel. A seven-point advantage for the Timberwolves. They have the basketball to start this fourth quarter. So they apparently they waved off the free throw or it was a miss, and I thought he made it on the free throw by Hurd there in the third quarter. We'll roll with what we have on the score that we got and the score that's on the board. 39-32, South Central basketball. Helps Axel for sure. Cruz with the pass into the corner. Jellison for three, bouncing off the back iron, missing. Cullen Shaughnessy gathers in the rebound for Axel. Eagle basketball drive into the lane is Smellsley and a foul on Howell on the shot attempt. Number three on Heath Howell, team by number six on South Central. So Axel looking to make this comeback and has a really good run here in this second half going. 39-32 again the score. Free throw coming up for Smelsley. Knocks down the first one. Seven now for Brandon, and it's down to a six-point game, 39-33. Second free throw coming up here for Brandon Smelsley. And that one's on the way, rattling halfway down and out. Rebound tips around, blitzing at it for a second, but it rips it out of there for South Central. The Timberwolves with the basketball, 7.20 to play in the game, winning by six. Pull-up jump shot on the way for Sarmiento. Misses, rebound right block to Smelsley. Axel basketball. Quick outlet pass. Tipped by Sarmiento off of Detweiler, and Sarmiento has a steal. Unofficially the 10th turnover of the game there for Axel. Out top. This is Prusa with it. Holding on the wing now. Back over to the right side for Uhl. Driving into the lane. What do we have? Foul called on Axel on the drive before the shot. Called on Colin Shaughnessy. That's his fourth. Team foul number four on Axel as Landon Schmitz checks back in. Schmitz has had a nice state tournament for Axel. Came into the season or into the tournament averaging under three points. He had nine last night. He's got seven in this game. South Central basketball. The inbound play for Uhl. As Gavin gets it in near the wing and a foul from behind on Broxman trying to get a steal. That's number four on Eli. Team foul number five on the Eagles. Again, South Central leading 39-33. to They led 39-32 after the third quarter. And substitution coming in for Axel for the first time is Evan Bussing, the 5'10 senior. Inbound on the far side for Sarmiento. Trying to get it into Jellison, who somehow comes away with it off of a tip by Smelsley. Cruza looking like he was acting like he was going to take a three from about four feet behind the college three-point line. On the drive, Uhl has it. Spins on Bussing, running layup, misses. Rebound goes to Detweiler. Six-point lead up ahead, Smelsley, as he's fouled from behind, going up with a shot attempt. Two free throws coming up here for Brandon Smelsley again. Seventeen foul on South Central in the second half. That was actually six the last time for Axel as far as team fouls were concerned. This one's called on Jaime Sarmiento, his third. And two free throws coming up here for Brandon Smelsley. First one on the way, and it's in there. Smellsley cutting this lead down to five, 
Heard back into the game for South Central coming in for Jellison. Second free throw for Smelsley is in. Nine points now for Smelsley. It's down to a four-point lead for South Central. 39 to 35. Timberwolves basketball. Sarmiento to the near side to Hurd who fell down just randomly on this near sideline. Got tripped up by the line or something. Just an awkward play there. South Central turns it back over on the travel. So the Eagles with the basketball back within four. They trailed by as many as 16 at 34 to 18 early in the third quarter. So since then, it has been a 17 to 5 run for Axel. Smith beats baseline, turnaround shot for Smelsley, halfway down and out. Rebound fought for by a couple of Timberwolves, and it's taken out of there by Gavin Uhl. So, uh, South Central with the basketball back and a four point lead. Still 550 to play in the contest. Inside, ball knocked out, thrown away by Detweiler. Another turnover for South Central. Detweiler drives the lane, feeds underneath late to Smith, and his shot was apparently just thrown that high off the backboard. It's hard to, hard for me to believe that that wasn't tipped. He went in for a regular left-handed shot, and it flew over the top of the backboard. His aim was the backboard at the box. There's no way that it, either his arm was fouled or the ball was tipped over the backboard. They called a tip. Axel basketball. I mean, it's hard to believe that that wasn't touched by somebody else. I don't think Landon Schmitz has superhuman strength on a layup attempt like that. He's tipped up and over, and Axel keeps the possession here. Eagles with the basketball. As Axel has an inbound play on the baseline. I think that why let us throw it in. Working. Holding, bounce pass, Smelsley, extended left elbow jumper missing, rebound tipped around, Schmitz tracks it down for Axel, back over to Smelsley, now to Schmitz again on the baseline, he's cut off, gets through a double team, but it's tipped and stolen away by Prusa. 11 turnovers now for Axel, South Central the other way, tra- leading, excuse me, by four, with 520 to play in the game. 20 Division two, third place game here at the state tournament, a little hesitation, step back, jumper from the baseline, misses for Sarmiento. Rebound pulled down by Detweiler. Three on one. Detweiler underneath. Finding Evan Bush and blocked from behind. But a rebound for Smith. He misses. Freddie Bush and blocked by Howell again. What a play there for Howell. Two blocks on that trip down the floor. South Central basketball. Base line at the left block. Heard fouled by Smith. And puts the lead back out to six at 41-35. Jack Heard with nine now for South Central. Landon Schmitz called for his first personal foul, the 17th foul on Axel, and Heard with a chance at a three-point play. Shaughnessy back into the game for Grady Bussing. Evan Bussing checking out as Broxerman came back in. Again, South Central leading this one. Now by six, seven, excuse me, as the free throw goes in for Jack Heard. He has 10, 42 to 35. They missed one already, I feel like, for Heard. The point is not on the board yet. There it is, 42-35. Like, I don't want to have this happen again where I'm pretty sure if free throws missed. Inside, look, Smith is fouled. Just back into the front court and makes the bucket from the right block and a chance at a three-point play. Nine for Landon Smith, and it's back down to a five-point lead, 42-37. to Found the inside, called on Gavin Ool, his third. Eighteen foul, Smith with a chance to cut it down to a four-point game again. Free throw for Landon, left front rim and miss. Rebound to Jack Hurd right in the middle of the lane for South Central. 4.38 to play, a five-point South Central lead. Right wing, Prusa has it. Couple dribbles, skip pass into the corner for Uhl. Cut off by Detweiler, goes up with a shot and a foul called on the attempt. Detweiler smells lead. And it's called on Isaac, that's his first. 18 foul on the Eagles. Free throws coming up here for Gavin Ool. Two shot opportunities. He was in the act of shooting. First free throw there for Ool is in. 43-37. Now the score, eight points for Gavin Ool. We're going to make it a seven-point lead, Ool. Second free throw on the way. Bounces off the mark. Smellsley skies high for the rebound. We know he can jump. He dunked in the first round. Rocks him in a deep three from the right wing and hits front rim and miss. Rebound goes to Uhl. 
South Central the basketball. Oh, what a play. Sarmiento drives baseline and a foul from behind on uh, Smelsley, I believe. Just so quick at that point guard position. Jaime Sarmiento, the sophomore. Smelsley called for his first personal foul. 19 foul, but again in the act of shooting for two free throws the rest of the way here for South Central. First one for Sarmiento rolling in. He has 11 in the game now for the Timberwolves. And we have a whistle and a timeout called by Jason Tynan and Axel. Eagles trailing it by 744 to 37. We'll take a timeout as well. Back after the break on Candy Wild. For all of your heating, air conditioning, plumbing, electrical, and excavation services, there's only one call to make. Eagle HVAC and Heating. Formerly Dave's Hardware and Axel, the guys at Eagle HVAC and Heating look forward to continuing the success they've built over the years. Offering all heating, ventilation, air conditioning, Needs as well as carrying a wide variety of name brand appliances. They do plumbing and electrical as well as excavation service. Give Eagle HVAC and Heating a call today in Axtell. Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions, your farm and home marketing team since 1976. Let the family team of Tim, Tom, and Rob Olmstead and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you in your real estate experience of selling or buying a home or farmland. Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions is experienced in providing timely, professional, and honest service. Find them on the web at olmsteadrealestate.com or call today at 785-353-2210. Welcome back here on Candy Y. Axel Eagles trying to make the comeback here in the third place boys game, 1A Division II State Tournament. Jaime Sarmiento is trying to avoid having them do that as he makes the second of two free throws out of the timeout. An eight-point South Central lead, 45-37. 4 0 to play in the game. Rockstrom in the left wing. Swings to the left side now for Detweiler. He dribbles back to the elbow, into the lane, spins off the defender. Offensive foul called. Was it a hook on Detweiler? They called it on Isaac. Second personal foul, the 10th team foul. The turnover gives it back to South Central. 12 turnovers now for the Eagles. Howell with the inbound play to Sarmiento. Back to Howell. Up ahead now, this is Prusa with it. Back to Sarmiento. 3.54 to play in the game. 45-37 the score. Pressure defense across half court. Howell has it for South Central. Back to Sarmiento. Right lane line, pull up, jump shot on the way, rolling in. Back to a 10-point lead. Sarmiento with 14 47-37 in favor of the Timberwolves. Far side of the wing, Broxerman has it. Back to Detweiler, now to Smelsley. Three and a half to play in the ball game. Smelsley turns, back top of the key it goes. Detweiler, excuse me, Broxerman trying to skip on the baseline for Detweiler. Somehow it's saved in by South Central and it goes to Hurd. What a play in the corner by Prozo. We've seen him do that a couple times in this game, keeping a ball alive for the Timberwolves. Howell has it, takes the dribble. Sarmiento, near side, dribbles behind the back. 3.07 to play in the game. 10-point South Central lead. They have the basketball, far side wing. This is Ool with it, back over to Prusa. Driving over on the far side. South Central, by the way, has no seniors on their team. I'm kind of looking at that team who's in their career today. A foul called on a drive by Hurd. If this is on Broxham, and he fouled out. And it's actually called on Schmidt, so that's his second. Again, double bonus, the two free throws coming up here for Jack Hurd. 2.48 to play in the game, 47-37 the score. Isaac Detweiler, Evan Bussing, the two seniors for Axtell, finishing their career here today, trying to make the comeback. Hurd missed the first one short. We've got another one coming up. Ten points for Jack Hurd in this game. Another opportunity here for Hurd. Second one hits front rim and misses. Rebound goes right back to Hurd underneath the Ool open layup in. And it's a 12-point lead for South Central. Gavin Ool into double figures with 10. 49-37. Broxstrom and air balls with three. Schmitz the rebound and put back underneath for Axel to cut the lead back down to 10. 49-39. Schmitz is into double figures with 11 for the Eagles and a holding foul called after a inbound play here. Tentweiler tried to get a steal but gets called for the foul, his third. You get in the double bonus. I believe it's Heath Howell headed to the free throw line for South Central. Two and a half to play in the game, 49-39 the score. 
Sarmiento with 14, 10 for her, 10 for Uhl for, uh, for South Central, excuse me. Axel being led by Schmitz now with 11. Great game for the freshman, really a good tournament for him. Grady Busting with 7. Second leading scorer for Axel. First free throw misses for Howell here. Grady Busting coming back into the game for the Eagles for Landon Schmidt. 49-39. South Central up 10 with 2.5 to play. That wild foul, by the way, was his fourth, actually. Second free throw missing for Howell. Rebound goes to Axel. Detweiler pushing the floor. Right lane line. Kicks over to the far side for Broxman. Out top, Smellsley. Wide open three. Top of the key. Spinning out. Busting the rebound. And a foul called on South Central. Timberwolves foul here. We'll send Busting to the free throw line. It is the fourth personal on Tommy Sarmiento. The 19th foul. So one one here for Grady Busting. Seven in the game. He's three for four from the line. Free throw on the way. Rattles home. Eight points now for Grady Busting. 50 to 39 the score. We'll have a break between this uh, boys' third place game and the girls' state championship game. We'll come on free game around 350 for that. For folks that might be listening for that. Busting, second free throw. Missed ball stripped away on the rebound, though. Busting has it back over to Broxham in three. Left wing. Bouncing off the mark. Rebound tapped around and taken by Sarmiento. Timberwolves with the basketball. Sarmiento has it. Howell was fairly established if he was across half court. Inside look for Hurd. Missed the layup. Rebound tapped out by Shaughnessy. Detweiler has it far corner. Lead is nine right now. It's 49-40. I put that last free throw on the wrong side. Smokely has it for Axel. Three on the way for Detweiler. Missing off to the left. Rebound goes to Axel. Broxman in three is blocked out of bounds by Howell. And the possession will stay with Axel. I've lost count of the amount of block shots that Powell has. After three quarters, he had six of them. He's got at least two, I think, here in this fourth quarter. So he'll be in around double figures. He tried to block the shot of Detweiler again here off the inbound, but he's fouled. Isaac is to the free throw line for two attempts. Fourth foul called on Heath Howell. Double bonus the rest of the way for Axel. The 10th team foul called on the Timberwolves. Still a nine-point South Central lead, 49-40. to 40. Isaac Detweiler at the free throw line is one for two in the game from the strike. Came into the game shooting 74%. He struggled in the first half, was 0 for 7 from the floor. He had five points in the third quarter. And has five points in the game now, hasn't scored yet here in this fourth. Two-shot opportunity for Detweiler. There's some sweat on the floor that needs to be wiped up. Break with a stretch and yawn from me. I apologize for that. <laughs> Detweiler at the free throw line. Game's not boring, but I am a little tired here today. Who knows what's going to happen the rest of the night. Detweiler's first free throw spins around and out. Chance to cut this back down to an eight-point lead now for Detweiler on the second free throw attempt. Might see things get extended here for Axel. As Detweiler rattles home the second free throw, he has six. 49-41, South Central. You first want to try to get a takeaway, but the foul called in the corner on Evan Busting is his first. Again, the double bonus. The South Central will go back to the free throw line. Howell rockets a baseball pass up the floor, and the official's like, I'm going to let that bounce off the wall. He takes it as Sarmiento goes to the free throw line for two attempts for South Central. Probably not the guy you want to foul. Sarmiento, two for two in the game. He leads away. Leads all scores with 14 points. This first one is not a real high arcing shot, more of a flat shot, but it's smooth right down the middle, 40 or 50 to 41, excuse me. South Central with a nine-point lead. Grady Busting checking out. Shaughnessy back in for Axel. Or actually, Evan Busting came out as well. And Schmidt came back in too. 16 now for uh, Sarmiento as he knocks down the second free throw. 51-41 the score. Nice pass inside. Shaughnessy missed the open layup. The order rebound to Sarmiento. Boy, Axel had a golden opportunity to get those two points back, and Schmelsley called for the foul coming back the other way. His second, and right back to the free throw line goes Tommy Sarmiento, the sophomore for South Central, averages 12.5 points a game. He has 16 in this one. So the time starting to become an issue here for the Eagles as Sarmiento continues to knock down free throws, which he does here. He's 5 for 5 in the quarter and in the game from the line. 17 for Sarmiento. 52-41 the score. 
Second free throw on the way, and it rolls in as well. Hits the front rim, rolled off the backboard and in. 131 to play, 53-41. South Central with the lead. Pass tipped over on the far side, and Sarmiento has a steal. Another axle turnover. Sarmiento across half court on the far side wing. Dribbles, nice look on a backdoor cut. Wide open layup in for J.T. Prusa with seven. Lead is back up to 14, 55-41, and a foul on South Central coming the other way. Not a smart one as Coach Valerius points to his head as the foul was called on J.T. Prusa, his first. Again, in the double bonus, the Detweiler to the free throw line for two attempts for Axel. Isaac, six points in the game. He's two for four from the line. The senior for the Eagles. Help lead this Axel squad to two state football championships in the fall, the last two falls. Here at the state boys basketball tournament in 1A Division II, looks like the Eagles will finish in fourth place. First free throw misses for Detweiler with 114 on the clock. They trail 55-41 to the Eagles. Second free throw up coming here for Isaac. That one is nothing but net. Seven points for Detweiler and a timeout called by Jason Tynan and Axel. 55-42, South Central leading by 13. Back after the timeout on Candy Wild. Have an accident with your vehicle? Call Moonlight Restoration and they'll take care of you with a free estimate and they'll turn it into the insurance company for you. You name it, they can do it. Fender benders, auto and tractor restoration, windshield repair or replacement, spray and bed liners, sandblasting, dealer and installer of B&W hitches and drop and lock hitches. No job is too large or too small for Moonlight Restoration. If you want quality work done by skilled technicians, call Moonlight Restoration in Axville, Kansas. Owned and operated by Brett and Nikki Runnebaum. Call 736 20 When you start a plumbing or electrical project, make sure that you have what you need to get the job done. If you don't have everything you need, Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber can help. Stocking a full line of electrical wiring, switches, boxes, and everything to the fixtures and even light bulbs. For that plumbing task, there's pipes, connectors and joints, faucets, toilets, and accessories. From an installation or remodel to a simple repair, get the plumbing and electrical supplies you need at one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. Dusty Dunn is back with you here on KNDY. 114 to play in the game, 55-42. South Central leading Axtell in our boys' third place game at the 1A Division II State Tournament. Barton Community College in Great Bend. Inbound play. Sarmiento lost it. Detweiler saves it on the baseline. Schmelzley tips it loose. Evan Busson trying to save it. Jason Tynan uses the final timeout. 108 to play in the game. 55-42. A steal for Axel off the inbound. Game's not over yet. Back after the break here on KNDY. The State Bank in Axtell is synonymous with quality and integrity in the banking business. Financing for your home, for your farm, or your small business. Contact the loan officers if you need money. Or if you're putting money away for something special. Or just saving for a rainy day. Visit with the professionals at the State Bank of Axtell. They're federally insured. Member FDIC, the State Bank of Axtell. One oh eight to play in the ball game, fifty five to forty two as the South Central Timberwolves have the lead over Axel in our third place game, one a division two state tournament. Dusty Donis with you here on Candy Line. Glad to have you listening in the Axel and Marysville areas and everywhere in between. Inbound play goes to Isaac Detweiler on the right side wing as Axel has the basketball out of the timeout. Shaughnessy, deep three, top of the key, off to the right at miss. Rebound tapped out, but right to Broxham, and he fires three from the right wing. Front rim misses again. Rebound, Smellsley saves it up for Detweiler. Baseline, Detweiler kicks into the corner. Shaughnessy tries another one. That hits front rim and misses. Howell has the rebound and a foul on Schmidt. Again, that clock is... Working against Axel right now, the third person. Actually, that was the fourth personal on Landon Schmidt. He's held the free throw line for South Central. He does have 10 block shots, by the way. He's got six points in the game. Got that uh, update on the last uh, break there. Four rebounds for Hal. And Sarmiento leading the way with 18 points for South Central. First free throw rolling in for Heath Hal. His first point of the second half. 56-42 to 42 the score. Second free throw coming up for Howe. And that one rolls over the top as well. Eight points, four rebounds, at least ten block shots for Heath Howe. Three on the way for Smelsley from the right side. Rattles halfway down and out. Schmitz on the rebound and put back all in one motion on the right block. 
as it's now 57 to 44. South Central with just 36.2 on the clock. The Timberwolves fouled again and headed to the free throw line this time is J.T. Prusa. Foul called on Landon Smith. The freshman goes to the bench, but what a game and tournament he had. 13 points for Axel in this one. As he finished 6 of 8 in this game. 1 of 3 at the free throw line. Prusa at the free throw line for South Central. Front rim missing. Got another one coming up. It's his second and third attempts of the game from the charity strike for South Central. 57-44 Timberwolves. 58-34 Timberwolves. It spun around about three times and went into Prusa. He's got eight. Grant Bussing checking into the game for Axel. As he'll come in for Isaac Detwater. Pretty sure this is a curtain call for Isaac. 36.2 on the clock, 58-44 the score. A hug from Jason Tonnen and Isaac Detweiler's final game of his career. We might see that for Evan Bussing here as well. He doesn't get quite as much playing time as Detweiler does. Into the corner, Broxman fires a three that misses. And on the rebound, a quick foul was already called on Axel. Actually, it was called on South Central and Gavin Ull on a box out. His fourth foul. You get in the double bonus. So free throws coming up for Brandon Smothley. Three for four from the line in this quarter. And nothing but net on the first one this time. He's in the double figures with 10. 58 to 45 the score. Second free throw rattling off the mark. Rebound goes to Howell for South Central. Smothley. It's that one, a foul on Grant Bussing coming the other way, his first. And free throws again for South Central. They lead 58-45. See a couple more substitutions coming in for Axel as Coach Tana will empty his bench, as will Coach Valerius for South Central with just 26 seconds remaining. South Central leading it by 13. Two free throws coming up here for J.T. Prusa. Eight points for Prusa in the game. First one spins around and out, and he's got another one coming up. Rutherford in as well as Polly, Tyler Polly, six foot freshman, and Hayden Herzer seeing his first uh, uh, chance to play a six two freshman for South Central. Evan Bussing, the senior, coming out of the game, getting his final chance to play for the Axel Eagles. Hugs from Coach Tynan and Shaughnessy as Bussing takes the seat. Gavin Shaughnessy, six foot sophomore, is out there for the first time. Blaze Bussing, six one sophomore, second free throw in there for Prusa. He has nine. 59-45 to score. Lucas Talbot, six-foot freshman, also out there. Pull up jump shot, a foul called on South Central as Lucas Talbot will go to the free throw line. And also out there for the first time for Axel Dalton Hottam, the six-one sophomore. Isaac Detweiler and Evan Bussing ending their careers here today for Axel. Future bright, though, for this Eagle basketball squad if they can replace Detweiler at point. First free throw missing for Talbot. He's got another one coming up. Free throw for Talbot this time around is up and bouncing off the mark. Rebound ripped out of the middle of the lane there by Rutherford. So the Timberwolves with the basketball. The I believe that we will win chance starts, and there's just seven seconds to go. 59-45, South Central with the lead. Axel calls off the dogs and dribbling out the clock, Tyler Pauley for the Timberwolves. Final score, South Central 59, Axel 45. The South Central Timberwolves winning this one by 14 and finishing third place. The 1A Division II State Tournament on the boys' side. Axel finishing in fourth place, finishes their year at 21-6. and six. South Central 19-8 and eight finished with the third place trophy here from the 1A Division II State Tournament in Great Bend. 59-45, South Central over Axel. Back to our start our post game after this break on Candy One. The ND Buildings of Axel specializes in post frame buildings. Give them a call for stud frame buildings with complete concrete and electrical work included. It's one call to get the job done. The ND Buildings specializing in post frame building construction, plus repairs and more. Always free estimates. Give them a call, B&D Buildings of Axtell, 785-294-0147. B&D Buildings at 785-294-0147. 
If your vehicle is looking like it just went through a money rally race, or perhaps it's been target practice for the neighborhood bird gang, then you need to get your car washed today at the Axle Car Wash. The Axle Car Wash has two enclosed self-service bays, even one size for semi-tractors. Just pull in, pay with your bank card, and wash all the dirt, mud, bugs, and bird stuff off your vehicles. You don't have to drive far to get a clean car. Just visit the Axle Car Wash, proud supporter of the Axle Eagles. Little Joe's 66 Service in Axtell is a proud supporter of Axtell Schools and Axtell Athletics. If you have automotive repair needs, call Joe at 785-736-2824. With satisfied customers from all over the area, Little Joe's 66 Service is the place to turn for all of your automotive repair needs. For engineered roof and floor trusses, call on Axtell Trust. 12 to 80 foot span. Complete hip, cathedral, and floor systems using only the best SYP available. Deliver to your site undamaged on a roll-off trailer. Manufactured locally at Axtell Trust on US Highway 36, two miles west of K110 between Seneca and Marysville. Phone 785-736-2291. Give your child a solid foundation in cheer, dance, or gymnastics. Get them over to Little Steps Dance and Gymnastics Studio in Seneca with summer enrollment open now for competition and recreational cheer and dance. Spots will fill up fast. Check them out on Facebook at Little Steps Dance and Gymnastics and start a new summer tradition today. Count on Cook Excavating for all types of dirt work, soil conservation needs, tree clearing, basements, and more. The number to dial is 736 736- 2889 736-2889 for Cook Excavating. Reliable quality service at reasonable rates. No job is too big or too small for Cook Excavating, so call today for all types of dirt work, soil conservation needs, tree clearing, basements, and more. 736-2889 for Cook Excavating. Western National Bank in Summerfield wants you to feel good about where you are with your money. Available when you need them and offering online and personal services, Western National Bank will make sure to keep you and your money happy. Call Western National Bank at 244-6211 to make your money smile. Member FDIC. Welcome in our post-game show here on Candy Wise. The Axel Eagles finished in fourth place, the 1A Division II State Tournament here in Great Bend at Barton Community College. LC and Sheila Flesky Court in the Kirkman Activity Center as the uh, South Central Timberwolves beat the Axel Eagles 59-45 to today. Leading the way for Axel was the uh, freshman Landon Smith with 13 points. Two in double figures. Brandon Smelsley had 10, including four of eight from the free throw line. Smith went six of eight from the floor. For Axel in this game. Again, 10 for Smelsley, 8 points for Grady Bussing. Isaac Detweiler was 7 all in the second half. 5 points added by Eli Broxman, including a 3 pointer in the third quarter. And at 2 points off the bench for Grant Bussing for the Eagles. Can Axel finish in their season at 21 and 6 as the fourth place team in the state? South Central finishes as the third place team in the state. South Central had 20 turnovers to 14 for Axel in this game. They had more turnovers, but still won by 14 points. And free throws for South Central, they were 14 of 23. Axel was 12 of 25 of the game. And leading that charge for South Central at the strike was Jaime Sarmiento with 6 of 6 from the line. He had 18 points. Shot 6 of 10 from the floor for uh, South Central. And they had three and double figures. Jack Hurd had 10, 10 points out of my Gavin Ewell. Eight points, 10 block shots, six rebounds for uh, Heath Howell. A nine-point game for J.T. Prusa, and four points off the bench for Isaiah Jellison. A couple buckets, one in the first and second quarters each. South Central again gets the win by a final of 59 to 45. Where Axel finished their season at 19 and 8 again. Axel dropping to 21 and 6 with loss. And take another timeout. We come back. We'll continue our post-game show here on Candy Wine from Great Bend. As a farmer, you know you can never have too many tools, and when it comes to risk management, there's one vitally important tool crop insurance your rain and hail independent agent can help you use crop insurance as a risk management tool to protect your business to learn about the insurance tools available call your local sps insurance agent 
you'll get crop insurance service from an agent that will help you protect what matters most. This agency is an equal opportunity provider and employer. For all of your heating, air conditioning, plumbing, electrical, and excavation services, there's only one call to make. Eagle HVAC and Heating. Formerly Dave's Hardware and Axtell, the guys at Eagle HVAC and Heating look forward to continuing the success they've built over the years. Offering all heating, ventilation, air conditioning needs, as well as carrying a wide variety of name brand appliances. They do plumbing and electrical, as well as excavation service. Give Eagle HVAC and Heating a call today in Axtell. Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions, your farm and home marketing team since 1976. Let the family team of Tim, Tom, and Rob Olmstead and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you in your real estate experience of selling or buying a home or farmland. Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions is experienced in providing timely, professional, and honest service. Find them on the web at olmsteadrealestate.com or call today at 785-353-2210. KNDY is proud to be your local sports leader. For over 40 years, KNDY has been bringing you the scores, interviews, and live play-by-play action of your favorite teams all season long, year after year. Not just playoff time. Times and technology change, but our dedication to area sports remain the same. KNDY Sports, on air, online, and on our mobile app. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. Flash into spring 2023 with savings on your Blue Valley Internet bill. If you increase your speed this spring, you get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. New Blue Valley Internet customers also get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. Visit bluevalley.net slash 2023. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Due to an influx in orders, Landall Company in Marysville is hiring for full-time assemblers, welders, fabrication, material handlers, and painters. You'll receive an additional 4% weekly bonus for production employees who work their weekly required hours. Landall is working overtime and offers competitive wages and a full line of benefits, including a $2 per hour shift differential for second and third shifts, all-inclusive insurance plan, paid time off and paid holidays, profit sharing, and a fuel allowance to drive to work. Apply online or learn more at Landall.com. Landall Company, EEO Vets and Disability, welcome. Dusty Donis with you for the final time here for this third-place boys game. We'll be coming back here soon for the Hanover girls and the state championship against Lebo here tonight. Again, the Axel boys fall 59-45 to South Central. Living the way for Axel 13 for the freshman Landon Schmitz. And again, in double figures, Brandon Smells and the sophomore had 10. Again, just two seniors for this Axel group in Isaac Detweiler and Evan Bussing. We congratulate them on fine careers. And, and obviously, they had a lot to do with what Axel did during the state football uh, championship runs they've had the last two years, Isaac Detweiler and all state uh, quarterback for that team and uh, obviously had an, uh, a storied career with the Axel Eagles. We congratulate him on a fine career. And, again, Evan Bosing, we congratulate him on a great career as well uh, for Axel uh, on the basketball court and on the football field and, and whatever they do athletic-wise. So, uh, track and field still coming up, so more sports still to come for some of these kids. I don't know who all goes out for track and everything of that nature, but, again, great careers for all those guys for the Axel Eagles. Again, they come up just short here with a fourth-place finish, 21-6 and six on the season of 59-45 loss to South Central here today. We'll hear a couple more spots, and then we'll wrap it up here from uh, Great Bend here on KNDY. And then coming up here, I would say about 14, 13, 14 minutes, we'll have pregame for the Lilo Hanover girls for the 1A Division II State Championship game here on KNDY. Big thanks to all the sponsors for bringing the broadcast to you here on KNDY from Axel Eagle State Basketball on the boys' side. And we will again have the championship game upcoming for the girls' contest between Hanover and Lebo.